Hello, and welcome back to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. When we last left off, we were leading an army around, um, fighting the Batanians, who have decided to invade us again. We're at peace with the uh, Western Empire, for now. Uh, ooh, the Batanians took Cheris. Interesting. Okay, so um, we're leading a small army, really a small army around, um, and we'll keep going, trying to do what we can against the Batanians. So Lath the Scholar is now up to 25 in stewardship. And give him, go ahead and give him a perk. Let's see. Spartan. Party consumes 10% less food. No morale penalty for having single type of food. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, party wages are 5% less. Recruitment costs are reduced by 50%. Let's do that. That ought to reduce the cost. Oh dear, we have a Batanian army trying to siege down Sargot. Uh, we'll see if we can't... Okay, maybe we can get a couple of parties over to help us. Ospir's army is coming down here. Oh, come back. Okay, fine, we'll get these two in here too. Since we're getting an army anyway, I hope Ospir's army makes it here in time. So you could be helpful, you know, Cervic. All right, here they are. Let's see if we can trap them. Okay. Off they go, and now let's move in. Ha ha! Got him. Oh wow, so... Interesting. Let's attack. We outnumber them by quite a bit. Over a hundred. Alright, so we're going to delegate... All of you! Sergeants, take command! Just to make sure that our guys are in concert with uh, the AI. Here's my little personal guard of light cavalry. That's pretty cool. Got my whole family here. Um, oh wow, okay, so we're, we're getting going here. Where's the enemy? There they are. So they're taking defensive positioning. Oh yeah. Very Batanian of them. Now their cavalry is just sitting over here. Try to get, you know, try to get one or two and just distract them. Oh, lost half my health. Um. So they are here. Let's, uh, we gotta get their cavalry. That, that's really the threat here. Go, go, go. on this thing. Oh, you blocked it twice. Hey, I gained a level. Yeah. Bring him down.
man. Getting a lot of shield. Sorry, horse. Oh man, my horse is taking a lot of damage. Don't die, horse. Stop blocking me, man. Let me, let me, just let me kill you. Still winning. I guess they have better. They just have better troops. We need to take out their cavalry. Then I think we will even the odds a little bit. Down, bring him down, bring him down. All right, I think we have turned the tide. Momentum is in our favor. They're good with their shields, aren't they? Hall armor's now 81. I'd like to see that. Dismounted. Stay away. There's a horse over there. Can we make it? Oh man. <laughs> that dude totally got killed me. Go, go, go. I still have a hunter age, you guys, so it's not over. Not over. one. I like these odds. Sorry, horse. Let's go. Where do you think you're going, huh? Yeah. Oh, your shield. All right, we got some help coming in. Nice. Good job, friend. We are still taking casualties. I still have 91 dudes, wow. Almost dismounted for a second time. Um, go. Yeah, they, they are dropping quickly now. Oh. Sorry, horse man. This has not been a good day for horses. Looks like there's a heavily armored one here. Let's try to grab it. No, no, that's mine. Don't take my horse. Ha. They weren't. They weren't going for it anyway. It's gonna adequate to mount. Wow. Okay. Third horse of the battle. I don't know who you, where you think you're going, but you're not escaping this battlefield. Ooh, didn't kill you, huh? That did. Nice. Getting a lot of polearm upgrades in this battle. Nothing that. There we go. Hey. Stole my kill. They must still have a commander or something because they have three dudes left. Somehow the battle has not been declared a victory yet. Over here. 
two left. There's one of them. All right, it's down. One guy, there it is. All right, it's a 13.8 renown, absolutely. Uh, Alaneth has died, don't know who that is. Um. Alaneth, oh, Titania Noble, what a shame. Let's see, how did we do? We did got 22 kills, I think that's a new high, plus two running, almost a 75 with that, plus seven. Whole arm, I'll take it. Doing the Swordsman, it's doing quite well. Nice battle, good battle. We lost 24 guys in our party though, but hey, we'll take it. It was worth it to defend Sargot. Hey, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, you are my prisoner now, I think. So are you. Wow, that's a lot of prisoners. Um, we can only hold 18. All right, you all have earned a promotion. There you go. Why not? Um, okay, so we will take just, you know, level five so that we can get the most for our ransom. Let's take the high, most high ranking of these prisoners. This is too many, but we'll sort it out. All right, we'll just drag as many as we can. We're, we're pretty near, actually, let's just take everybody. We're pretty near Sargat. We'll lose a few of these. It's okay. Ooh, Batanian War Mount. Is this better than what I have? Yeah, it is. Nice. Cool, so I've, I've improved my horse situation. Charge damage 11, speed 48, maneuver 73, hit points 240. So it's faster and it's better maneuverability, but less charging and fewer hit points. That's okay. Horse armor is an improvement for somebody. No Gand. There you go. How about your horse? Destrier. Or your horse. They've all got special horses, don't they? Midlands Pelfrey. Oh no. Okay, well, you need to improve your riding before you can take that. So we're not far from Sargat, but let's see how slowly it takes us to get there. Someone's gonna escape. No? Escape? No? No? Okay, cool. Nobody escaped. Um, 8,330 for our prisoners. Take that for sure. Back to where we were. 18,000. I'll take it. Okay, we're being attacked now by Britannian Army. We have the balance of power, though, so let's go to the battlefield. The night battle, not my favorite. Um, I think that they're going to be coming for us. They are. So let's Bookman! let's move the archers in front, um, so that they can move out. Spread out. Cavalry! Do their thing. Cavalry, we're going to automate. Sergeants in charge. And then, okay, the archers are going to move up there. And as soon as um, the enemy infantry sort of gets close, we're going to charge with our. Um, infantry. Here's my family members. Hey guys, how you doing? I guess we'll automate them as well. Pulse! Follow your sergeants! Our cavalry is doing a fantastic job so far. Um, here come their infantry. They're advancing slowly. That's actually pretty good for us. I mean, yeah, go ahead. I mean, to go ahead and take our take our arrows.
We are losing our cavalry now a little bit. Almost ready to charge. Let's do it. No? Wow. They're not even engaging with my infantry. All right, let's have everybody Soldiers, automate. I think it's time to just sort of clean up. They're stuck. A slaughter so far. Teach them to attack me. Haha. Yeah. They are just taking heavy, heavy, heavy casualties. I can't even, can't even find them. Where are they? This one. That works to perfection, man, that whole archer thing. So thank you to my uh, subscribers who commented the tip in the last episode to deploy my archers this way. It worked. It worked fantastically. How are we doing? Where are they even? There's one. I guess they had reinforcements come in or something. There's another line of them over there to the right. It's hard to see in the... Oh. Okay. I guess they're fleeing. Oh, I guess I was wrong. Oh, get out, get out, wow. Ah, okay, got a little complacent there. This dude is definitely fleeing. Rough showing for the Batanians, I'll say. Get, get, get him. Alright. Wow. Okay, so that was a slaughter, man. We only lost 41 in the whole army. We got 14.7 renown for that. The Aston has died. I think that's on their side. It better be. Yep. Okay, they lost a noble. Very nice. In my party, we only lost one dude. Um, who was it? Okay, a good troop. That, that's too bad. But we got a bunch of skill points. Got up 75 in riding. Good stuff. Um, you're a mercenary, so I'm going to let you go to improve my relations with you for later. Um, you are not. You are a Batanian noble. Right? Yeah. So you are my prisoner. Okay, we'll take all these troops and see if we can't make use of them. So, I forgot to actually level up my dude after the last battle, um, and we got another riding perk. So, what? Increased carry capacity of pack animals by 20%, better deal for buying and selling mounts. Increased mounted infantry campaign speed by 30%. Melee mounted infantry. Okay, so that's if you have infantry who are riding on your spirit horses, I guess. Melee cavalry information gain 10% speed damage bonus. Um, yeah, this is way better than this one. And... I think we have to go leadership here. We're yeah, we're almost maxed out on that, and we're gaining leadership by leading an army. Okay, so we we'll take that, and my leadership just like that is up to 50. So let's go ahead and get a perk. Um, what do we got here? Party leader, party leader. Additional four morale at the beginning of the battle when you are attattacking. Additional eight morale at the beginning of the battle when you are defending. And increased rate of recruiting. Let's go with this one. Any advantage you can have when defending. It's good. I think when we're attacking, we'll usually have the advantage anyway, so we'll go with this. Stout Defender. We're going to try to siege down Lane Lennox Hen Castle here. 
It was just retaken, so I doubt it has a very large garrison. We don't have much cohesion, so we'll just set up the siege camp and then go. Rovalt is taken. Election started. Um, let's wait until after this battle, because we should have more influence. Um, wow, we're really cutting it close here. And we have some vultures trying to attack. Um, we have our siege camp set up. I think that's really all we have time for. Let's take the castle. Okay, let's begin the assault. Now, we don't have any siege equipment, so... Just charge. Everybody get in there. Everyone! Listen up! Yep, get those arrows, uh, get those ladders up. Let's just get in there. Let's get in there and take this castle. Crossbow little by little. Hmm. There's a little gap in their fortification here. I get a good shot in there now. So the ladders are up, but no one's climbing them. That is a very brave man. He just died by my crossbow, though. Oh, hello. What are we waiting for? Headshot. Um, okay, let's let's delegate then. Here. Everyone's all goofy. Sergeants, take command. We're all up here anyway, right? You're gonna climb. You're gonna assault the walls, right? These battles are still very goofy. Very goofy. Now, why don't you attack, man? Climb the wall and get up there. Maybe we have to go to the gate. Maybe that's what maybe that's what the AI is waiting for. Um, where's my horse? Did, it, did he run away? Yeah, they, man, they dropped the ladder. I just have to do this myself. Alright, 1v87. Sounds good to me. Yo, dude, if you're, if you're just gonna stand there? Alright, so this is still buggy. Very buggy. Look at this. Look at this craziness. Assault the walls, bro. What up? Oh. Okay, well at least they'll let me climb these ones. Infantry's assaulting walls, they better be. The 
lead by example here. They need to fix sieges for sure. It's just, it's just too weird. I, I feel like it's worse than it was when the game first went into early access. So I called another charge. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> AI is really wonky. Okay, I called another charge, turned off delegation, and now they're coming. And performance is very inconsistent with the siege too. So it was a little bit choppy, but now it's back. So I, I don't, I don't, I haven't set it to low just for the siege battles because it takes more from your system, I think. So. It's usually on uh, super high or very high. The highest settings possible except for siege battles. So I don't know if that's just me. Yeah. Right, at least we're inside now. There. All right. Oh, I, I took damage. Hello. Yeah. All right. Now they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. We're out of bolts. Let's go do our thing. For glory! Ah! Stay back, stay back! Never mind. Man, sieges are weird. Go! Right, 11 guys left. Not long. Victory is ours. Another 13 renowns. So we're just getting huge chunks of renown from these battles that we're winning. Um, stats went up. Two, two athletics. I'd like to see that. Plus four to crossbow. Very nice. Um, we only lost 10 dudes. No one in our own party. No one in Lath the Scholar's party. So we came out looking very good there. And we increased our uh, clan tier. That really snuck up on us, didn't it? Okay, so we took the castle. So there are two elections. Uh, request entry. This is isn't this my castle? Okay, so we're inside the castle. Um, let's do the first election for Rovalt. I don't really want. I'm not even on the ballot. Second election. I guess it hasn't been called yet. Okay, we'll see. Now, as for our clan tier, we're at now clan tier three. We can actually deploy another party. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that, um, oh, wow, I forgot to do this. Okay, you be quartermaster. Now, I'm thinking we send Soren Willowbark out as um, the leader of a party. And we now have larger capacity 
for our troops because we upped our clan tier and so larger capacity larger capacity for both our parties as well so he can fit 74 now she can fit 75 so i picked her because she has higher intelligence and intelligence leads to stewardship stewardship leads to larger parties if you set the quartermaster here they get more xp in stewardship so that's good and we got up to clan tier three you need 900 renown each clan tier four so that's a lot uh and we can get another companion we'll on the lookout for that probably another another basher of sorts although we are going to be on the lookout for high intelligence Varric is still not of age but soon soon all right let's see how, let's see how this election goes this should be mine i mean i took the castle right i took the castle give it to me no it's gonna go back to cervic don't want to waste the influence and since we sent the surgeon off we're gonna go ahead and make nogand the surgeon or we're not what? Okay. Well, Abigail, Abigail and Ara both have low intelligence, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, okay, we'll make Duane the Swordsman the Surgeon for the time being. And we are back at war with the Western Empire. Again, we have our two-front war going on. Maybe we'll make peace with the Batanians? And I have actually leveled up. So, let's go into the character screen. We're at level 12 now, I think. Yeah, level 12. So every four levels, you get another attribute point. And we have to sink ours into social for sure. Get that up to three, because our charm and leadership here are struggling. We need both of these. It's pretty important. Um, and I also want to boost our stewardship, get a bigger army. A party, rather. So we actually have a Siege of Sargat happening here. Garios' army. The Emperor himself. Um, ooh, okay. So they lifted the siege. Let's see if we can trap them. There's a huge army... Here, yeah, okay, we got him. We got him. He's attacking us. Good luck, Garios. You're gonna need it. All right, let's um delegate our forces. Hear me! Take charge. Except for Boss. the light cavalry family members. On my flank. They will follow me. Where's my family? Yeah, so we're gonna have like a royal guard. I think this is a good idea. I like this idea. So when we go off on our own, like we tend to do, we'll have our brother, sister, wife, and sister-in-law accompanying us and join the swordsman. Honorary family member. Let's go. So it's gonna be a big battle. Um, we'll want to stay alive for the duration, if possible. A little bit dark out. Haven't actually hit anyone yet. Figured out. Got him. There we go. Just gotta get in the rhythm. We're losing a lot of men, oh my god. Um, there we go. Bang, bang down on him. Bloody battery. This is some. This is some thick fighting, man. Get started out taking a lot of losses. I think we. I 
think we've turned the momentum in our favor. Part as well. Okay, now we're getting a good ratio of kills. Garyos back to where he belongs. Oh, my horse. Oh, my horse. Oh, my horse. Whoa. I got dropped. I did not see that coming. At almost full health. Well, okay. We'll go to the end of the battle. Okay. Wow. Well, we got dropped at the end there. Torvasis has died. Who's Torvasis? Ah, oh, he's on their side. Okay, so they lost a noble. Um, we got... We got, we did pretty well. Plus six to our pole arm. I'll take that. 23 kills. Alda got a bunch of skill increases, including a riding perk. Nice. You are my prisoner, Garios. So let's go ahead and get that perk point um, for Alda in riding. Let's see. Increase your maneuver by 10%. Mounted troops information gain, 30 riding skill. If you're the captain. Charge damage, maneuver, charge damage, maneuver. Charge damage. I don't know if she'll be a captain at any point, but hey, we'll, we'll do the charge damage. And we can go ahead and give this perk um, that we've been holding off on to Soren Willowbark. This athletics perk, which gives her if she's a party leader, increase your, uh, okay, yeah, increase your party size by five. This is what I want. Boom. Pop into Sargat quickly. Um, we're going to deposit Garyos here. Ransom everybody else. I am super tempted to get this armor. I think I'm going to. Sweet. True Valandian style. Uh, this armor then can, can be passed down to Nogand. It's surely an improvement over what he has. Yeah. And this can be sold. Paying 27,000. We have a big pile. It's okay. Since we have room for another companion, I think I'm going to go with Borcha Blood Axe here. He's got 200 uh, two-handed. Not bad at athletics either. We're going to have him um, leading our heavy infantry. We're going uh, to reorganize our troops in a second here. Okay. We'll take a look at him. Borcha Blood Axe. All right, two intelligence, so probably won't be leading any armies, but ten vigor. Look at that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I do not mind at all having this dude on my side. So we're going to go ahead and get him kitted up and into formation. So we're going to set Borcha Blood Axe here to Captain of the Heavy Infantry. And all of these Tier 4 and above troops will form a little elite squad. They'll be led by Borcha here. So there aren't many of them, and they definitely could use this extra body that he provides. So we kitted him out with a bunch of really expensive stuff. <laughs> we spent a lot of money here. And that's actually all the time we have for today. So please, comment, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.